little video here. Right, I just went past the cottage and the little, some little calves were there. Just the calves, about six or eight. Here's the wood, Banwell Woodlot. And uh, I noticed they've got something up there. I don't know whether that's a solar panel for a bit of electricity or, or if it's a camera to keep an eye on people. All right, it's more like a solar panel. And then if we go along a bit, look, we come to the um, the figure, the mannequin. Now, he used to be over this side, just near this gate. Unless there's more than one. There's the farm. I've never seen anyone. I did see somebody from the big house once. Look at that big cloud up there, look. Looks menacing, doesn't it? Now these, some of these trees here are the parents of my little oak tree that I'm growing at home. I'm not sure when acorns fall. Not sure at all. Might not be till another month. Could be September-ish, which could be when I came out last year. And the acorns were all over the ground and I just picked up three or four and took them home. So I don't think it's yet. But here, this is, these trees here are the parents of my, not this one, it's got to be an oak. It might even be a bit further down. That's not an oak, so it's not that one. That looks more like an elm. But somewhere around here, all the acorns had fallen. And, uh, they're not, they're not quite ready. I wonder if they're on the tree now, ready to come off. Let's just have a look, see if we can see any. Might not be time yet. Yeah, no. There's none on there at the moment. I can't even see any in bud. Let's go a bit closer. No, it's not, it's not time yet, I don't think. Must have been later in the year I came over here then. So there we go folks, there's the, the wood. The tower will be up there somewhere. I met someone who told me he's had a lot of trouble this year with farmers, angry farmers. And he was, uh, when he was up there, he's a runner, but he had his dog with him. A shotgun went off. You think the farmer fired it into the air. It's like a warning. He doesn't, now he won't go up there now because of that. There's a little hut. It's a bit like a scout hut, isn't it, really? A bit like a scout hut. Some people live out there like this, though. The thing is, like I said before, I'm a bit of a, a townie come, um rural person but I do like to be able to just nip up the shop if I want and have a bit of interaction I do find that's important well it is important actually whereas if you're out here you are really alone and I have experienced that when I was on the farm in Totnes it is a bit too isolating so you've got to be although I probably could cope with it knowing I could get out but um no, there's a lot of people stuck in farms, you know. Oh! Somebody coming. Oh, he's going up there. Right! Oh, look at that little birdie! I've not seen that before. I don't know who he was either. Now, what do you call these guinea fowl? That's either a guinea fowl or a young peacock. There's one there, they're meeting up. Yeah, I waved to the farmer, I think he smiled. He looked a bit, you know, who are you? Sort of thing. 
They might be seeing my videos on telly, see? Oh, look at that! That's interesting. Look. Someone's put a Buddha up there, look. Don't see that. Yeah, I'm not going to go up to the uh, the caves or anything today. I just took a picture of that though. Right, I just stopped an old farm gate with a beautiful view ahead of me. Partly in the sun, partly in the shade. And had my well, part of my picnic. Nice lump of really mature cheddar cheese. Two very lovely tomatoes on the stalk a packet of chicken crisps I'm sorry but <laughs> Walker's crisps a bit too salty really and some lovely Scottish spring water and I'm, I'm just feeling so at the moment I'm feeling you know I can breathe I usually get indigestion after eating cheese it wasn't a huge lump I've cut down on the amount <laughs> It was a slither, really. And, um, yeah, I just thought I wouldn't bother going up to the caves. That's a different thing. When I do that, I usually get off the bus earlier. Today, really, was just ambling along from Banwell back. It's just a walk, really. There's too many people in town. Weston's packed. Um, I, I went through town yesterday on my way to the woods. And, um, we're just packed. I mean, this COVID thing's a worry, isn't it, really? Because, I mean, people are, sort of, some people are, some people aren't wearing masks. Um, but we're all exposed to our own families, that's the problem. I met all my, most of my kids, apart from Jolene and one granddaughter, Lucy. I didn't see them. And Zara never came. But we all gathered, you see, for the 25th birthday. So, they're all very mingly, that. they're very sociable, my children, you know, they go out a lot. So, we'll have to wait and see, but I've had the two jabs, I think that's why they probably thought everything would be alright with me. Because um, I've been jabbed. Now, my granddaughter, who was 25, she said she's had one jab. <laughs> the thing is, what it is with uh, COVID, I think you can still take it around with you. Um, even if you've been jabbed, you might not get it, but I think you can still sort of carry it somehow. I'm not quite sure on that score. I'll have to look that up. Now, I did a, go a COVID course last year. I could do we could do with an update now. Because that a lot's changed since that early course. So, anyway, we don't want to talk about it all the time, but it has dominated our lives. Going out. This time last year, if I did this walk, which I probably did. In fact, I know I did. It was during the COVID period. My conversation was probably the same, but different, if you know what I mean. It, it was the early day still. And none of us have been jabbed. So I think I've done the best thing by having two days of fresh air. And um, we just have to go from there, really. Like I said, I was more worried about people coming to view the property than anything. Yeah, so this is a steady little climb. You know, like I said, I come up here in all seasons. I've been up here when there haven't been any leaves. 
Uh, today is a very lovely day. It's a beautiful summer's day. Um, August is usually very reliable for weather. August is usually in July quite often. Um, but they keep going on about climate change. So, I don't really know what to believe really. I think we get pushed from pillar to post with what's really happening. You, who knows anything? We have to believe what they tell us, don't we? We're not experts. We can only pick up what we see ourselves. And England have been known, or oh, Great Britain if you like, for having turbulent, unpredictable weather. It's not a new thing. Some summers can be a washout. This is a lovely little lane, everyone, isn't it? I rarely, rarely, rarely meet anyone on it. I, I've met people on horseback. Because somewhere around here, someone lives in a house somewhere over there. they got horses. I occasionally bumped into some pigs. Not here, but in a field further up. But so that was only, I think, once I seen them. This will take me up to the plantation, which is a privately owned wood. And they've threatened you there with shooting. So you've got to be careful, because they might be actually be out shooting something. So you've got to heed the warnings. <sighs> Looks like it's either been brought down by the rain, or somebody's been doing a little bit of work here. Well, that looks like it's been stripped by the rain right back down to the basic rock here. That's what it looks like. So I expect some people who follow me will know where I'm going. I've already said I'm going to the plantation. What comes next then? After I've done the plantation where do I go? Oh yeah, there is a field I sometimes sit in. <sighs> Somebody come in and run her. <sighs> Alright, hold on a minute. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just turn off a minute. Alright, just going round. The little dog's just jumped up on me and made me dirty, look. <sighs> oh, some more cows. I've just been taking some pictures of cows. There's another little group over there, look, calling by the fence. Yeah, little calves in there as well. Yeah, so what I've done, because it's still deep, I mean, we had a lot of rain as well, don't forget those. That path there, I don't think that's ever going to not have water in it. They, no one seems to come and perhaps put some old stones down in there or anything. Oh, this is different. I've walked through here in the winter mainly. It's quite nice to have it nice and leafy. I said, I'm covered in mud because a little puppy dog jumped up on me. I said to the woman, it doesn't matter. When you come out, you've got to prepare to get rubby. She was apologetic. I mean, quite muddy, quite muddy. It'll dry off and brush off. As long as I don't touch it, it'll dry and then it'll just brush off. It doesn't matter, I'm changing all these clothes when I get home anyway. She looked embarrassed, the girl, but I mean, what can you do? You've got a puppy, you don't know who you're going to meet. And it just, the thing is, it just walked through the puddle. And it was pleased to see me. Yeah, look at that. That's really quite steep still. It's handy having that little pathway there. Hello, plant. You're still here? I think you were here ages ago. I like videoing going down lanes because you do pick up the camera. will pick up all the insects that are flying around. That Although I can see them, 
when you do a sit on the camera it's a lot more uh, obvious you know a lot more obvious There'll be another path because this puddle up here, I mean this is an this is developed, this one here. Of course there was a route you can come up around the back, an old route that's not sort of disused now. I'll have to come off again in a minute because look at this big puddle. And then more leading up towards the plantation. I'll just go over towards the gate first. Oh, that's a lovely breeze, that is. There's a couple of cows in this field as well. Don't know if they're supposed to be in here. Western Supermare over there, the end part of the fort near the golf course. Oh, that big herd. I can see them. That big herd that have not long come along this path, by the way, with the boy with the tractor. They're all moving up towards here now. <sighs> 